Hey guys, Adam the Historian Ghost Hunter. I'm in this, uh, what is it, Sparsening? What's the, I forget the name of this town now. Was there, huh? I think it's Sparta. No, Spars yeah, Sparsening or Sparta. Um, and we stumbled across a cemetery. It's right here on the border of Sleepy Hollow, New York, Terrytown and stuff. And look at this, this is pretty cool. It's like it was a foundation. This was definitely a house foundation, unless there's tombs in here. But this was a very old cemetery. Um, this stone was pierced by a cannon shot fired from the British Sloop of the War Vulture Command by Lieutenant Sutherland, September in 1780, Mohegan Chapter. This right here was, wow, pierced by a cannon. Wife of Abraham Landry departed on Christmas, December 25th, 1795. Wow. Look, Heather Witchens with me. Hi, everybody. Hey, everybody. Take a Facebook selfie with me, everyone. <laughs> um, long cool. story short, um, we oh. stopped here. Uh, it turns out to be quite the cemetery, even though it's next to Sleepy Hollow, and Sleepy Hollow steals the lore. That's neat that there's a cannon. It's, this was pierced by a cannonball from the British. And then also another reason why I'm here uh, well, like I said, we just stopped. We're on our way to Sleepy Hollow. We got, a, got actually a place in Terrytown tonight. Terrytown House Estate, old school mansion in the 1800s. So I always stop anyway. We're on the way to the Hensel's Horseman Bridge and all that good stuff. And uh, the Leatherman. I've heard of this lore about this man who used to walk from Connecticut to New York. Um, like a homeless man, vagabond. And uh, he did that for years wearing leather. Just nothing but leather. Ch like chaps, leather suit. And he's buried here, and I've heard of that. The Leatherman, for, for no known reason, from 1883 to 1889, he trod a 365-mile loop every 34 days between New York and Connecticut, clouded 60 pounds of leather. That's a little lore, and he's here, and I left him a quarter. The Leatherman. We'll take a quick walk to the front, even though it's hot as a son of a gun, and I want pictures of that cannonball fire thing. We're gonna take a quick pick. Like I said, um, we went to lose lunch in Connecticut today for a burger. It's the National Historical uh, Regiment's, uh, basically the birthplace of the hamburger, 1895, lose lunch. And we had that. Checked into our Terrytown Hotel, which is 1840, I believe. And now Sparta Cemetery. Set, uh, set apart by, clone, by clone, uh, Colonel Phillips, graves of revolutionary soldiers, cannon fire hit tombstone, first site of Presbyterian Church, moved to Sing Sing in 1800. And this is right on the cusp of the road here. And, uh, town of Ossing, Ossing, New York. So we're in Ossing, right down the street from Sleepy Hollow. So, pretty cool little cemetery. Got my rent a car. Thank you, Enterprise. And, uh, Wow, we, what stopped to be a cemetery turned out to be a pretty uh, relevant historical spot right here in, uh, in um, I guess, southeast New York. Like I said, right by Terrytown, right by Sleepy Hollow. We'll be going there tomorrow when it opens up. There'll be a video soon, too. But yeah, the Leatherman's here. That was a site of a meeting house that got shot with cannon fire. There's soldiers here, so... Man, this stuff just calls me. It's in my blood. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Uh, be sure and check out my Historically Haunted show every Friday, 8 p.m. on the Paranormal King Radio Network. You can find that on Google and Facebook. The Historically Haunted Vodcast, that's every Tuesday. Just had Dustin Perry on from the Ghost Hunters International. That's on Facebook through StreamYard every Tuesday at 7 to 8 p.m. Eastern. And, uh, yeah, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hey, you're watching this on, and Historian Ghost Hunter. You never know. You never know what I'll find. And that means what you'll find. So keep being historians, keep being explorers. And if you can't do that shit, let me do it for you. Much love, guys. Thanks for watching.